A few years ago, I got an interesting telephone call from the presidents of Mitsubishi Motors and Mitsubishi Electric America. They had a problem. Activists from this group called Rainforest Action Network, RAN, were sneaking into auto shows, chaining themselves to cars, locking themselves to steering wheels, forcing Mitsubishi to have them hacksawed out. And they were attracting all kinds of publicity against the companies. Mitsubishi wasn't the worst rainforest destroyer. In fact, the activists were mad in an entirely different part of the Mitsubishi family. But the corporations who called me had to protect their good name. Many environmentalists see giant corporations as an evil empire working together to destroy the planet to make more profit. Environmentalists tend to see themselves as selfless citizen activists, sacrificing their own well-being in a mostly hopeless, but at least noble campaign to save the Earth. Lots of corporations think activists are just dangerous radicals who want to destroy companies, destroy capitalism, destroy our way of life. Corporations see themselves as practical leaders who create needed products and jobs that solve problems. So, here you've got save the planet on one hand, solve problems on the other hand. That sounds like a good match. There has to be a way to pool our skills. How could Mitsubishi show that they were different, that they cared? How can anybody get on the good side of the green revolution? Stop, look, listen. Corporations have to understand the environmental problem. Environmentalists have to work with corporations when they find a practical solution. Both sides can make progress by talking to each other. At Business for the Environment and Future 500, we call it stakeholder engagement. Stakeholders are people who can make a business succeed or fail. We know the common stakeholders like customers, investors, employees, but stakeholders are also members of the community, and they're people that are concerned about particular issues. Stakeholders have to have a sense that they can engage with companies to be part of the solution. Turns out that after we brought Mitsubishi and the rainforest activists together, they got down to solutions. Sometimes they even started to like each other. Mitsubishi agreed that they would stop buying wood from old growth clear cuts. And Mitsubishi, once they got the ball rolling, more than 400 other companies signed on to the same commitment. Now with that kind of corporate buying power all on the side of the environment, now it was possible for logging companies like Weyerhaeuser and Macmillan Bloedel to begin to change the way they cut forests. That made the environmentalists happy, it made the companies happy, and it made me happy too. Because when the president of Mitsubishi Electric retired, he became the head of Future 500 in Japan. Businesses exist to solve problems. That's why they create products. Products are supposed to solve problems and serve needs. Environmentalists can learn how to promote safe products, jobs, and a healthy earth. With activists and business with government working together through stakeholder engagement, we can get to the green solutions that will create a bright and sustainable future. For Future 500, I'm Bill Shireman.